This is the Sizzix Stamp and Stencil Tool. It has a large base that's 15 inches by 10 inches. That piece of cardstock was eight and a half by 11. In comparison to the Misty Stamping Tool, you can see how the Misty Stamping Tool is so much smaller. This is the original size, which is about eight by 10. It comes with a foam pad so you can use it for clear stamps or cling stamps. With the Misty Tool, you use the magnet to hold the paper in place while you're stamping. For the stencil and stamp tool from Sizzix, you use a big piece of sticky grid, which is kind of like a big post-it note. It holds the cardstock securely, but it comes off really easily without any ripping or tearing of any paper. Cling or acrylic stamps stick very easily to the top clear acrylic plate. From there, after you've positioned it in place, you can ink your stamp and then stamp it pressing firmly. If you're wanting to emboss your image, you will definitely want to make sure to remove that paper from the sticky grid. You do not want to use a heat gun on the surface of either tool. Because the base of the Sizzix tool is so large, it's great for larger projects or mixed media projects if you like to work on a variety of different size projects. For the Misty tool, it's more for card making or smaller projects. Because of the sticky grid base on the Sizzix tool, you can easily attach stencils to it and it will cling to that sticky grid, holding it in place while you're stenciling. The sticky grid does make it really handy to use. It's very easy to just have everything stick to in place with the sticky grid. It also will hold scrap paper if you're wanting to mask things off to do some sprays or pastes. The Misty also has a clear acrylic top plate for the stamps to cling to. On the Misty, it's attached firmly with hinges. For the Sizzix tool, it is just slide in and is removable as well, which is handy if you don't necessarily have the amount of room that the Sizzix tool requires because of its size. To stencil, if you're using the Misty, you'll have to remove your stamped image and then tape your stencil down. Both tools work great depending on the type of creating that you like to do. The Sizzix ones definitely takes up a lot more space because of its size, but I do really like the sticky grid on the base. The Misty is a lot more compact and a better choice if you work on smaller projects and don't have a whole lot of room.